Yo guys, so we got another unboxing today. Today we are going to be unboxing the PTS KWA Masada. It is a gas blowback rifle that comes in at over $480. And uh, we're gonna be unboxing it today. Thank you to Airsoft Station. Thank you so much to Airsoft Station for sending me this. Uh, I'll leave a link to this gun in the pinned comment and in the description if you guys wanna pick this up yourself. But yeah, let's get straight into unboxing it. I'm super excited. I love gas bow bag rifles. It's my favorite type of gun. I love gas bow bag rifles and pistols. It's always been my style. And man, this gun looks beautiful. Wow. Look at this, guys. So it's KWA's take on the ACR. And uh, yeah, they did an amazing job. This gun weighs in at over eight pounds with the Magin, which is actually crazy. This is probably the heaviest gun I own. There's not really much else in the box. You get a, a speed loader and whatnot, but wow. So here's the thing. Hopefully I can get this whole thing in the frame. Uh, wow, yeah. So gun shoots around 380 FPS with 0.20 gram BBs. Gun has a very long barrel at over 371 millimeters with a six millimeter uh, diameter. So you're gonna be able to hit your shots from quite a distance with this beautiful rifle. So yeah, basically the whole construction of the upper receiver is metal and these right here, they're polymer, like the, the grip, uh, the foregrip and the stock and then yeah, the pistol grip but the rest of the gun is basically metal. This mag is super, super heavy. It feels really durable. It's probably the heaviest mag I've ever held, to be honest. And uh, it's actually ambidextrous, so you can put the charging handle, which is on this side, right here, on the other side, right here, with a few screws. And uh, yeah, and this gun is basically fully ambidextrous. As you can see on this side, you have your switches, which you can then go onto this side, and you also have your switches there. Same thing with the mag release and the bolt release and everything else. So if you are left-handed, this gun is perfect for you. It comes with some nice flip-up sights here. I love those. Very satisfying to flip them up. And uh, they seem to be pretty decent sights. Nothing crazy or anything, but yeah, this gun feels really nice to hold. It's probably like the most sturdy gun that I have right now in my collection. We got the stock here. You can adjust it a few different ways. You can pull it off to the side stock like this and have a smaller gun. In case you're trying to get through a tight space, you can fold it up like this, or you can have it extended. Oops. And then you just push in these two and you can extend the stock for extra comfortability. We're gonna check out this nice bolt here. Are you guys ready for this amazing noise? Oh, it sounds so good, man. I can't wait to shoot this gun. It's made by KWA and PTS. Uh, it's called the Masada. Now, one interesting thing I found about this gun is that the bolt release is kind of hidden. So let's lock back the bolt. To do that, you have to push right here on right where the mag well is. And to release it, you have to push down. Very interesting. I like the placement of that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, here's your mag release right here, and here's the bolt release and bolt catch. So interesting placement for that, but it is ambidextrous, so that's nice as well. This gun is very comfortable to hold. Uh, except for the weight is quite a bit. So if you're not used to having a lot of weight in your airsoft guns, this could feel very heavy, especially with the mag in. And let's say you had a bunch of gear on. This gun could feel definitely very heavy, but besides that, I love this gun. I think the styling's great. I think the build quality is great. Feels really sturdy. I pretty much love everything about this gun. And uh, you guys should let me know what you guys think about this gun in the comments below thus far before we shoot it. So yeah, so now that we've talked about the gun and the unboxing, Let's get on to shooting. All right, guys, we are in my backyard with the PTS KWA Masada, our target down range, and we're gonna see, you know, what kind of groupings we can get with this gun. We're about 20 feet away. Not super far, but a decent distance. Let's see what we can do. All right, we'll do a little burst in full auto. See how the grouping is? these smaller targets and we're out so the bolt lock back nice
All right, guys, here's how we did on our target. A lot of grouping in A. I tried shooting for top A and B, and I was able to do that pretty successfully. I guess I only missed right here and here. But besides that, our grouping is pretty good. Uh, from about 20 feet away, we were able to hit a very smaller target, upper chest, and uh, yeah. All right, guys, wrapping this video up and review, this gun is absolutely dope. It hits targets, it shoots nice, it feels good to shoot. This might be the, like, the most satisfying gun I own to shoot. Just the gas blowback system and that little kick that you get from each shot and the burst in full auto feels amazing. And I cannot wait to use this on the field. It really does uh, hit targets really well. It's got pretty good accuracy. Uh, especially for a gas blowback rifle one that's not really the main purpose but man this gun's dope like i can't i don't even have words to describe it it's like i give this gun like a 9.5 out of 10 if i could if there's a score rating that's what this gun gets i didn't get to test it really at super far distances but uh with this longer barrel i'm sure it could do just fine if you adjust the hop up and whatnot and use some heavier bbs but from a medium engagement distance it did absolutely perfect Felt amazing to shoot, uh, no, not really any gas problems or anything. So this gun's awesome and I love how it's fully ambidextrous and you can even put the charging handle on the right side if you want. And uh, man, this gun's just dope. It's super heavy though, that's one thing I will say about it. It's really heavy, so if you're gonna carry it around on the field all day, definitely get a sling. But besides that, man, this gun's dope. Let me know what you guys think about this gun. Are you guys going to pick it up? Uh, would you guys pick it up? The retail is just over $500, so it's pretty crazy expensive for this gun, but you know, it is a gas blowback and it's built right and made by KWA and PTS, some very reliable brands. And uh, yeah, I got nothing bad to say about this gun, really, it just performs really well. Super, super satisfying to shoot and just overall, uh, like super enjoyable. Thank you again so much to Airsoft Station for sending me this to review and unbox on this channel. So make sure you guys go check out their website, see, check out some, some deals, some steals that they might have, and maybe pick up this gun if you guys want to. But I'll leave a link down in the description and the pin comment, and in the pin comment, like I said earlier, if you guys want to pick this gun up. But yeah, go make sure to go check out Airsoft Station and thank you so much to Airsoft Station for sending me this gun. This has been TS Blur. Thank you guys so much for watching my review and unboxing of the KWA PTS Masada, and I will see you guys in the next video.